It's gonna be very sad. <laughs> Every, Lots of crying. Everybody's gonna be crying so in here. So much crying. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you waiting? Are you ready? You got your water? Yep. Here, I got an extra finger. Donko? You got your water? Yeah. Throwing some foodstuffs that we didn't end up eating to the chickens. We'll just turn the vegetables into eggs. Like compost yes. if they don't eat it or turn it into eggs. Yep. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a another hot summer day. Uh, we're gonna get down here to the barn and sort some onions before it yes. is a million degrees inside the barn. Yeah. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. I know we did. We've just kind of been enjoying the, uh, the summer weather, meaning we've enjoyed sitting inside in the air conditioning, <laughs> hiding from the heat. Pretty much. Uh, we get out and do everything first thing in the morning and then in the evenings, and we've kind of settled into our, our routine. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nice. So we are coming down here to the barn to sort our onions. We have left them in here with a fan to, uh, I guess, cure, yeah. sort of. Mm -hmm. That way they're ready for storage. Pardon the mess. <laughs> We've just got stuff everywhere. crammed in here everywhere. Yeah, it's all, right. all right, so here's our onions. They, uh, they've dried up a lot, they have. which is good. Yeah, this isn't ideal. Situation for curing onions. Usually, you would do it in a cooler environment, mm -hmm. um, but we don't have one. We're just working with what we got, so doing the best we can. That's that's just where we're at. Yeah. Um, ideally, like I would like to build a cold room somewhere. Mm -hmm. but we don't have any place to stick a cool room. Not easily. Uh, I know no. people are going to be like, "How come you can't use a farmhouse? There's no power down there." Yeah. And are you taking my water? Trying and to get it somewhere? power. Uh, trying to get power down there. If we're gonna do that, we're gonna redo the farmhouse. Basically, like, yeah. Like that's kind of where I'm at with it. So, yeah. All everything we'll get to eventually, but for right now, this is where it's at. Yep. So. Alrighty. Well, we're going to clean them up, get the dirt off, kind of get off any loose skin. If there's any soft ones, we will take those up, and I'll deal with those. Those will be like process use. them immediately. Mm-hmm. And get them trimmed up and ready for storage. All right. Let's. Uh, I guess pull up a seat and. Make a mess. Make a mess. Cool. And I know people are going to notice there's hairspray in the background, and it's because this is where the kids la launch their rotten potatoes and various things. If you are a child of the 80s or 90s, you're going to know what Aquanet is. <laughs> Makes the best potato can and fuel. Who knew? Taking the tops off? I will, yeah. I thought about braiding them, but I don't really have room to hang any more braided stuff right now. So. Rotten. Rotten all the way through, or just pieces? Just parts on the outside. Yeah, I can clean off. I don't know if this one's any good. It looks fine. That's totally fine. Is it? Yeah, I can come off a bunch of that. Okay. That's not that bad. Yuck. Yeah, that's that's Alright, so there's our uh, dozen, uh, maybe, maybe chopped up half a pound of red onion. Yeah. Uh, those did terrible for us this year. Actually, you know what? Truthfully, we have never had good luck growing red onions. I mean, honestly, this is the best red onion crop we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we'll plant, you know, two dozen red potatoes and red they onions. or yeah red red onions i was looking at the potatoes <laughs> potatoes are right in front of me and maybe like three or four of them five of them will do good yeah. and the rest either rot or they just never grow they're like like that one yeah. that one's about as big as the uh the original onion i planted it never grew I mean, it got slightly bigger, but you know, the middle's rotten. That's all right, we'll take these up, we will cut them up, process them, pickle them, yeah. and then we can enjoy them later. Because if you, if you haven't had pickled red onions, you're missing out. Pickled red onions are amazing. Good stuff. All right, you wanna do white or yellow? Let's do white, so we'll just work our way down. Okay. All right, 
we are done. Uh, the 2023 onion harvest is dismal at best. Here's all we have that might possibly keep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, which a lot of this still I'm probably gonna have to process. deal with, yeah. Uh, all of the whites, all of the reds, and probably I'd say half the yellows are in the process immediately pile. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these up top and we're gonna process everything that needs to be processed. An example of needing a cold place to keep your onions to cure is right here. Yeah. Uh, they stayed up here in a, you know, 100 degree barn right. and rotted. Um, so I mean, not entirely. We did, we didn't lose as much as we thought we would. Yeah, we didn't so lose, we, did pretty good. we didn't lose 100%, but yeah. pretty, pretty dismal. I will say, this year, the onions are a lot bigger than we have had in the past. That is true. So that's a plus. So when you're peeling off 50% of the onion to get down to good onion that you can chop up and freeze. And it helps to have them large. Yeah, it helps to have them a lot larger. So let's haul these up top and, and uh, I guess, oh, you wanna weigh them? I wanna weigh them. Do we have a scale down here? Uh, no, it's up top. Okay, then we'll weigh them when we get up top. Yeah. Cool, I mean, it's still cool. We still grew onions this year. We did. Even though we had we lost half of our onions that we started. Because we, we, they, yeah. Like we started probably 300 onions from seed. And when we planted them out in the bed, uh, a late freeze wiped out wiped half out. of them. Yeah. Uh, and then like the yellow onions and the reds, those were onion uh, sets. sets that we planted kind of as a, oh, gotta get something in. Right. And they did okay, you know, for a, a Hail Mary, it, yeah. it was okay. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all, for all the struggles we've had with just getting them to grow, I'm not mad. Like, no. this is okay. This is pretty good. It's just, it's not our storage onions for a year. Uh-uh, not even close. But, it's better than nothing. I'll it's, take it. It's all right. We'll be eating a lot of garlic. Garlic did well for us this year. <laughs> we'll be eating a lot of garlic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are sweeping so good. All right, let's get a weight on these. Ready. There we go. Okay. Okay, watch out, sister. Ooh, heavy. 38 point. 38. Or 9, 38, 9 ounces. Sweet. All right, so nearly 40 pounds of onions. That's yeah, not bad. That's okay. For all the drama that growing onions was this year, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right, let's uh, get the house all smelled up. Let's, uh, okay. let's chop and freeze some onions. Do it. It's gonna be very sad. <laughs> Every, Lots of crying. Everybody's gonna be crying so in here. So much crying. <laughs> so you're getting bags ready. Mm -hmm. De-sliced. We're gonna do sliced, we're gonna do chopped. Yeah, we'll probably do some chops too. Honestly, for cooking, this is gonna be horribly convenient having already just, diced up, you just open a bag yeah. and dump it and go. Just like the peppers. Yeah. It is highly convenient. So probably by next month, we uh, we will be in the peak of bell pepper season. Yes. Well, all the peppers. Uh, and we have found it is shockingly convenient to just open up a bag of like chopped bell peppers, bam, right in the pan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're making fast food, guys. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get chopping. I don't know if the pigs are gonna love this bucket or really hate this bucket. Uh, they eat around the onions. I guess they'll just make compost with it. Well, these are spicy onions. Are they spicy? Oh man. We gonna be crying. Ooh, yeah, it just hit me. Yep. Ooh. It's gonna be a sad day in the kitchen. It is. Lots of crying. Yep. All right. So how much in a bag? Uh, I would say like halfway probably. Mostly. Okay. Cause I can just dump a little bit from whatever, each bag. Whatever looks good. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. Here we go. Everybody in the comments is going to give us the remedy for uh, chopping, onions. chopping onions, you know, lighting a fire, 
burning a candle. Wearing goggles. Wearing goggles. I've we have tried them of, all. Um, none of them work. None of them work. So there is actually a lot that we are able to save. Like this one was just starting to turn. I don't know if you can see that, if the camera will focus. So there's actually a lot of onion that's still good. We can cut all that out and use the rest of the onion. So even though we have a bunch of waste, it's not the end of the world. This year's red onions <laughs> yeah, in a bowl. It. That's it. Yeah. Like, that's, it. that's everything. We are most of the way through the white onions. These are the ones that we'll probably keep, so those will go on the shelf. And then everything else is getting bagged up. Um, we're we're probably more than halfway done yeah, now. Yeah, I think we are. So you want to tell people what you're doing with all the red onions? So I'm going to pickle these, pickle and can them. So they'll be canned in red wine vinegar and then they'll be shelf stable. We can pull them out for, I know, I'm like, are, are my so eyes bad. puffy? Like, <laughs> my eyes feel puffy, pretty red. Have you been crying? Yes, I have. Yeah, we both look like we've been crying. Oh man. So anyways, these are gonna get canned once we like kind of finish up everything. I will be canning these in red wine vinegar. So we'll have pickle, we can use them for tacos and mm -hmm. baked potatoes and salad. And, yeah, all kinds of, put so them on pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those will be good. So just kind of, we got them chopped now to get them out of the way. Kind of get them prepped and, and ready. Dealt with. Yeah, and then um, I think I want to try to make some onion marmalade from the Homestead Kitchen cookbook. Mm. So it's like, it's balsamic vinegar and brown sugar and you like cook them down and caramelize them and get them all ooey gooey. Sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah so I'll make some of that. So I'll, we'll probably set aside like, I don't know, Couple bags of these well not bags but like worth, worth of yeah cups about eight cups so we'll double that do like 16 cups we'll okay. set that aside and i'll make that too that'll be good sounds good all right all right i'll continue chopping okay everything's gonna smell like onions. There is 2023's onion harvest. Yep. All processed. Doesn't look like a whole lot. That's what oh, we're keeping. Yeah, there's that's what we're keeping. That's it's probably about 12, 15 pounds. Okay, that's not bad. So the rest but, of it is. So this is freezer. Yep. That's freezer. Three quarts of diced, seven quarts of sliced, and then these will be getting pickled, and this is turning into onion onion balsamic marmalade. That sounds so good. It does sound really good. Like when we have a snack dinner and we have like, you know, fancy bread and cheese and yeah. fruits and uh, prosciuttos and, you know, right. stuff like that. All the good stuff. Uh, yeah. There's some fig jam that you'd found one time. Uh -huh. It was like a... It was like an onion fig. Yeah, thing. it was like an yeah. onion fig marmalade yeah. thing. Oh, so good. So, good. so uh, we're going to pause so we can eat lunch. And then I will see what I can do with this stuff. Hopefully right. get it done tonight. Sounds good. Didn't like that burner? I'm just going to move it to the back because it's got to sit and do its thing for a while. So People are going to hear flute music coming from behind me. All of our children are very creative. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Tyler has made his own flutes and recorders and he's always making some new whistling instrument. Yeah. And he can play them pretty well. He can. They actually sound quite beautiful. There's a couple of them he's made out of different woods, and it's like, man. Yeah. I feel like I should be looking for fairies and, like... He was actually playing outside, like, towards the barn the other day, and I could hear it, and I was like, I kind of expect to just see, like, rats following along <laughs> at any moment. Pied Piper. <laughs> yeah. It was so pretty. 
the tie it's a piper. piper. <laughs> come on, you gotta go. You gotta come show off your recorder. Was that what you were just playing? Mm -hmm. So what's that made out of? Uh, cherry. So that's cherry. Mm -hmm. The thing sure has a nice patina on it. I can tell you play that one the most. I'm just trying to stir these to get them coated with the oil, and then they're gonna sit for a little bit. This is a lot of onions. For the red onions, it calls for four cups of red wine vinegar. This is all the red wine vinegar I have right now. I forgot to order more on our last Azure run, so. Oops. <laughs> We're just gonna measure this, and I'll make up the rest with apple cider. We'll add a little bit of sweetness to it, and it'll be good. You had three cups. I have three cups. And some garlic. I said one clove of garlic, and I'm like, <laughs> and I think I might actually put garlic in. Cause it says remove garlic and discard. What? Why would you discard garlic? So I think I will wind up either slicing this up and putting it in the jars, or putting more garlic in the jars themselves. This recipe is never called for salt. But why is it? Here? Why would you not put salt? Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. We grew all those. We did. I mean, it's not a huge harvest, but it's not. But it's that's our harvest. It is. Those have cooked down a ton. These yeah. have cooked down a ton. Already, yeah. I'm just trying to get these softened up to where I can get them in a jar. <laughs> So could we save this juice out of every jar we open and put eggs in it? And pickled uh, eggs in it? Yeah, we totally could. That'd be really good. Alright. Yeah, Eight jars? Yeah, that's not bad. All of our red uh, onions for the year turned into eight jars. Well, okay. hey, at least they're not rotting. Yeah, like this way we have fresh onions from our garden, shelf stable. Like they don't get any fresher than this. I'm, they really don't. They're now shelf stable. We can eat fresh red onions. You know, they're canned, but yeah, they won't be as, as fresh as they possibly can be. Yeah. Slice up that garlic and put mm -hmm. it in each of them. Yeah, why not? Sounds good to me. That's a nice start. I know, right? It's so pink. It's beautiful. We did it. Yeah. You did it. Yeah, dude, you just chopped onions with me for two hours or whatever that took. Yay for painful suffering eyes together. suffering together. You know, now it smells like cooked onions and vinegar in yes. here. Yes. A little bit better than just raw onions. Yeah. Ooh, they're starting to burn. I think that pot right there smells like happiness. It does. It really like. does. What did you say? I see cows. You see cows? <laughs> yeah, before I could grab the camera, she was out here yelling at the cows. Why are you yelling at the poor cows? Because I see a little cow. You see a little cow. I see two cows. Did we have any more bust through the fence? Doesn't look like it. We had one bust through the fence the other day, all the way down there at the corner. And uh, it wasn't real happy when we came to put it back. Those are little guys. These guys are probably like a month old. Wow, these have cooked down a bunch. Oh, those, smell, those smell so good. Do they? I'm kind of like nose blind right now. So what is this? Brown, brown sugar? sugar, yeah. You're making your own brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need I want more. Taste. Yeah, I, I know you do. I'm gonna need more for the caramelized onions here in a minute. So, I stopped buying like brown sugar a long time a ago. A while ago. I remember the first time you made up some brown sugar, and I was like, "What the heck is this? This isn't brown sugar." And you're like, "What's brown sugar?" It's like, well, it's refined sugar and molasses. Yeah. You're like, I took refined sugar and added molasses. It's brown sugar. 
Once upon a time, brown sugar used to be like before they refined it and stuff, but it's not that anymore. They take refined sugar and they put. I know you do. Just a minute. They just take refined sugar and put molasses back in it. So I was like, you know what? I already have sugar on hand and I already have molasses on hand all the time. So why am I also buying brown sugar? That doesn't make sense. I call it my lowest denominator, lowest common denominator food storage. <laughs> yep. There you go. So and it doesn't take hardly any work or time to make up a batch of brown sugar. Okay, right, wouldn't you know it? That Ta -da, looks like brown sugar. Brown sugar. So how far are we breaking these, these down? These are almost there. Just like there's still some in here that are kind of white and chunky. So almost there. What is this? More molasses? That is balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. All right, so this is the stuff that's gonna go into that once that gets brown enough. So. The onions? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stir it. You wanna stir it? Okay, you stir it. Gently, don't spill it out, okay? All right, you gave me the, the sign. I did. This Must be ready. Really getting much browner. We're good. We're gonna add our vinegar, sugar, salt, and pepper mix. This next, and we're gonna let this come to a simmer, and it's gonna simmer and thicken for like 10 minutes or so. And then, because this is not specifically a canning recipe, onions are a low acid food, so they would need to be pressure canned. So I could technically pressure can this. It does have vinegar in it, so that makes it an acidic, but I don't know if it has enough vinegar to make it safe for water bath canning. So to make my life easier. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in jars and we're gonna put it in the freezer. So I save all of my lids from all of our canned goods for things like this. Um, it's not recommended to reuse them for canning, but for things, we use them for relight. Sometimes we do, yes. Um, but I use them for dry storage and freezer stuff. All right, the most important part of any job, sampling. Oh. Hey, Mama. Is that good? <laughs> Can I eat some? I would like to eat some. I want to eat some. Do you like it? Oh, that's good. Do you want more vinegar in it? No, that tastes good. Okay. It's like the world's most caramelized onions you've ever had. It is. That's kind of amazing. Oh, that's good. Good? Mm hmm. All right, I'm gonna call that good. It's pretty thick now. It's good and thick. Super sweet. Yep. That's oh, really good. That's good. On a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Like on, that would be really good with bacon, actually. That would be really good with bacon, right. or like a like a lamb sandwich. You could do. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, that would be amazing. You can just like toast with some brie. Mm. Oh, man, <laughs> that'd be good. Alrighty, we'll get this can up. I'm just gonna probably make a giant mess. Oh, darn, you just, just have, have to clean that up. Yeah, it's fine. All right, because I am freezing this, I'm gonna leave about an inch of headspace so it can expand without Busting a jar. Yeah. This is not going to make as much as I was hoping it would make. No, for all the onions that we put in, <laughs> yeah. boiled down to, I mean, let's be honest, if we're eating a snack dinner, that's one serving. I know, right? Let's be honest, that's all of those are mine. <laughs> are you getting your own samples? <laughs> Several pounds of onions and it cooked down to nothing. Three pints. Three pints. <laughs> We're done with our harvest for 2023. Boiled down to nothing. <laughs> That's right, we'll eat good six times. We will, we will. <laughs> we'll be tasty. Hey, it's better than having them rot and throwing them away it bit by bit. Definitely is. Like, way better this This way. is awesome. So cool. All right. I mean okay. these are just about That's done too, aren't done, they? Yeah. Pull that off. Ta-da! Ta-da! Canned pickled 
uh, onions. Yep, red onions. Red onions. Yep. And that was literally our entire harvest of red onions. So. <laughs> that, was, that was it. What you got cooking now? Spaghetti. So this is a all-in-one pot yeah, one spaghetti. Pot spaghetti. I'll make the sauce and then I add extra water. You gotta account for what this pasta is gonna step up. It's very thirsty pasta. It is. And then uh, put it in there and cook the pasta. You gotta kind of keep an eye on it because it can stick to your pot. All right. Looks like that pasta has grown in size and drank all the water. It has. Actually, mine need a little bit more water in there. All right. So what you got going on over here? I just I had some biscuits left, so I just put cheese on them and put them on the broiler. Oh. That sounds great. Cheesy biscuits. Cheesy biscuits. All right, since people are still eating <laughs> and both of us are done, yeah. that spaghetti was particularly delicious tonight. It was. I don't know why. Yeah. I threw in a couple extra ingredients on a whim. A little sprinkling of this. That's right. That. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it, it was good. I think that's gonna wrap it up yeah. for us for today. That was a very successful. Like we finished the onions. Yeah, that was one I of those like super happy. Check that off our list of things that need to be dealt with. Yeah. Not only did we deal with the onions, but like they're done. Yeah, and we made some value-added products. Yes, so. <laughs> value-added. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for us for today. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.